it's been about a week no it has it's a week it's been a week seven days and um my hair is just still in this bun honestly guys it's been so great not having to do it and not thinking about it really the only thing i do like every other day or like i don't know i probably did like two or three times this week is spray my hair with um this little this little concoction i made if you can see that i just shake it up so it has um some shebe oil in it that i made it has a little bit of um this leave-in conditioner that i really like that is very moisturizing um some msn powder for hair growth and oh aloe juice and just some bottled water so i just mixed it all up in here I shake it up a little bit and um, I just spray it. My hair is pretty dry um, right now. I haven't really done anything to it. It's been just like this for the past like three days. So yeah. Oh, so um, some of the changes that I've been noticing. Oh wait, wait, before I get to the changes, I actually washed my hair this week. I washed it like or three or four days ago, I can't remember. It was like three or four days ago. I can't remember the timeline. It's just been this week has been pretty much a blur. And um, I washed it. I was fine. I washed it like how I usually do, and none of my coils came out. They they look like they wanted to come out though. Like so, I'll, I'll just show you what it's looking like. So I was talking about it. I want you guys to see what I'm working with, and then I'll just go into the details. So yeah, I hope that was like a good visual. Um, changes that I've noticed. Um, <laughs> so after I washed my hair, um, some of them, some of the coils, none of them unraveled. Let's just get that clear. I washed my hair like normal. It was really easy. There was nothing like weird or like, oh shoot, we gotta be gentle. I just wash my hair like how I usually do, and everything worked out fine. And then when I got the shower, I just noticed that some of the coils just looked like, oh, here's a good one actually. You see how like it's not cold anymore, but you can like just see it looks like curls it's all up in there in the middle. So the coil unraveled, but then it stayed intact at the end, kinda. And then I braided my roots when I started my locks. So all my locks have braids at the base, and then I coil the rest, and then that was it. So here's what I did too. Oh, let me find that same one. Where did it go? Oh, fragging fragger. Okay, here it is. Okay, so <clears throat> what I've been doing, because I didn't want the coil to completely unravel, I just did a little bit of a, like, kind of like a interlock at the very end to hold it in place. So the braid, all of my locks have braids at the roots. And then the coil came out, but stayed intact here. So I was like, let me just reinforce it by like, doing like an interlock. So I just like took this and I looped, I put it through once and then I switched direction, I put it through twice. And I probably did that like <clears throat> three or four locks, three or four times on the locks that look like, look like this. Just don't wanna, I don't really know what it's doing. I think it's just like used to being in like the um, curly state. I don't, I don't know. I feel like for the most part though, most of my hair is like, yeah, yeah, nigga, we get in. Oh, there's another one. So, this one's a little better than the last one. Uh, but you can still see that. There's just, you can see the curls right in the middle. And then it stays in tag down here with the coil. And then I did a little knot there. But for the most part, there's some that just stayed coiled. Like, it's, they're not bugging like this one right here. This one is behaving well. <laughs> like, there's a few of them. So yeah, this one, yeah, this one's another one. Should I just call these like the kind of like pregnant locks or something? Like, 
to literally stick my fingers through it. But you can see it. I don't know if you can see it starting to mat up in there. But yeah, and then the end stays intact. <clears throat> uh, what else? There's a few. This one is participating in the coilage. Coilage. This one's participating in staying coiled. There's a few of them. Yeah, for the most part, most of them stayed intact, to be honest with you. This one is not trying to do absolutely nothing. Like, look at this shit. Like, do you see that? I, for it being in that bun uh, for about two or three days, it feels really good. Even after, and I washed it like three or four days ago too. So uh, I've been moisturizing with that little concoction I showed earlier. I'm about to spray it up again, just to like you know add some more moisture to it. Yeah, I mean I don't know what else there really is to show. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. Um, I'm noticing that at the roots I don't have much marrying so far, and I don't know if it's because I braided the roots. But it's been fine after I wash it. But it's the length that it's been like, you know, they've been trying to make out and shit. I don't know. But I have to like separate them. Like at the length. I don't know if you see. You see all that? Like you see that? So like the length of my hair has been giving me more problems. Which is weird because my last dog journey, it was the roots that kept my hair in. But this time, it's the length that wants to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do a little shot of shine. Where, you see this right here? Where is that even coming from? You guys see that? Where does that even belong to? It's just crazy how matted my hair gets after a week. So I feel like, I mean, do they call that when your hair is like lock ready or something like that? Because that's what it feels like. It just feels like it's just living it up. There's a lot of tangles going on. I mean, after I detangle, my hair gets tangled again. So I feel like naturally it just wants to tangle. So I feel like it's happy for the most part. I'm going to spray it up real quick. Um, what else can I say before I forget anything else? What else going on? Is like, what else is going on? Um, oh, what I used to wash my hair is Design Essentials. I, got the, I think I showed it in my last video. So if you haven't seen it, check out my last video. I talked to, I showed, it was like a mini lock haul or whatever. Talking about stuff that I'm gonna be using. I really like that shampoo. It gets the job done and it makes my hair feel clean. Like the old protein thing makes my hair feel super clean. And then the honey cream moisturizing shampoo makes it feel like, you know, it cleans it, but it's still, it's not as like, it makes it, I can feel like there's moisture being deposited into my hair. Honestly, I'm not really feeling the way it's been looking. It kind of looks just like mad chill. My hair is just doing what it wants to do, and I'm content with that. Like, it looks good. I mean, I like that I started on a longer length, too, because I can still, like, put it up in, like, a little bit. I know it's going to shrink. I know it's going to shrink, but for now, I can still put it up into a little bun. And, um, you know, I can just get out my face. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. It just looks so like chill. I feel like I'm a pretty chill person, so my hair also feels pretty chill too. And laid back and kind of like bohemian esque. And yeah, I like these little curls at the end too, if you can see them. I think that's cute. Yeah, so that's it. My hair feels even better now. And um, should we do like a white check or something? Let's see. Let's do this front one right here. It is right there. <laughs> yeah, so it's already shrinking. And as you can see, after I sprayed it, it gets even more frizzy. <laughs> but it's not ugly though. It, it, it looks a little wild, but I don't think it's ugly. I think it just looks carefree and like just, like I said, bohemian esque. about it now I'm gonna just let this air dry 
feels completely dry. And once it is, I'll just put it back in my little bunsy onesie and call it a day.